guys, so I wanted to kickstart this channel off with, well, I did kind of already kickstart it off with my everyday makeup routine, which you guys should go watch because it's one of those fun sped up ones. But I decided that I want to talk to you guys. I want to I want to start this channel. So I decided to film my um, everyday foundation routine. Um, yeah, I this is going to be a really short intro because I don't know what to say because I'm extremely awkward right now because I'm new at this. Um, that's what she said. I hope you guys like my everyday foundation routine. And like I say at the end, if you have any ideas for videos or, sorry, I'm losing my voice, or any requests for anything, um, then leave them on my wall. Message me because I want to get this channel started. Um, also excuse me if I'm looking at the screen a lot because I'm not, well, A, I was having to watch myself because I didn't really have a big mirror while I was doing my makeup. And also, I forget that I have to look at you guys in there that little camera I forget so I'm sorry hopefully I'll get better but um I hope you guys like the video and leave any request all right bye this is what I look like with absolutely no makeup on um I'm sitting in front of my window my neighbors can see me and I feel really uncomfortable that's awkward um but let's get started so I already did my face routine and I um every morning I use the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash, the pink grapefruit. I love this stuff. I love the way it smells. It makes my face feel really clean. Um, and then after that, I moisturize with my Oily Complete. Um, it has um, SPF 15 in it, and this is for sensitive skin. And then I moisturize under my eyes with my Aquafina Intensive Under Eye Cream. So, um, I do a couple different things for my face, um, my foundation routine. Um, sometimes I use I actually just got this, but sometimes I use the CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation, and this is in um, 335, and I believe this is the color Dune. So this is the one that I use. My nails look really bad. This is, I'm not prepared for this at all. Um, and this is in Dune, so I like to use this. Um, I find for some reason that it makes me a little oily. Um, I don't know if other people have problems with like that with this but um I mean I like it though I wear this mainly if I'm not gonna have foundation on for a long time and I can just take it off after a few hours but today I'm gonna have foundation on for a while so I'm gonna use my Revlon color stay and this is in the color 250 fresh beige it seriously stays on all day I wear it all the time and I find not very often it slides off or anything I find that it has a good staying power but first I'm going to prime my face with my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Color Correcting Primer. So I'm going to use this. Um, this stuff's pretty good. So I use about that much. And I sort of between my fingers. And I apply it in areas where I get the most oily. So just in my T-zone. So the middle of my forehead. And I kind of work it out. Like that. And then my nose around my nose and then my chin so yeah this is what I look like with no makeup on I get I hate not wearing makeup it makes me feel really uncomfortable um I get breakouts on my chin mostly that's my main problem area so right now I'm trying to work on a routine that is going to stop that from happening okay so after I've done my primer I get my foundation and I usually use one of two brushes. This is a Coastal Scents, um, I think it's the Flat Top Buffer Brush. Um, it's a pretty good dupe, I hear, for the Sigma F, I think it's the F80, I think. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, but this works really well. It's really dense. It really works the foundation in well. Or sometimes I use, um, I usually use this with the Nature Lux, but this is the e.l.f. Um, powder brush. It's sort of like the same. I find it's not as dense though. I don't know. I just prefer this one. It's like softer. So I take my foundation and I put uh, about, that looks like a lot, but I promise it isn't. I put about that much on my fingers and I rub my fingers together and then I just kind of Swipe it on my face. And I forgot to grab a towel, and my hands are disgusting. 
and I take my buffer brush and I would do exactly what you would think and I buff it in. So I just kind of go in circular motions like this. I get a lot of redness around my nose so I like to focus um, a lot of foundation, well not a lot of foundation, but the foundation there. Oh my god, my neighbors can totally see me right now, this is embarrassing. They can't see my computer, so they probably think I'm just talking to myself. Just work it into my skin. Make sure you get it on your jawline and down your neck a little bit. So you don't have any harsh lines. And rub a little bit over your eyelids. And then if I'm having a particular, I can't say it, a particular, <laughs> a bad skin day, I'm just going to say that because, yeah, I'll take a little bit more on my fingers like this, just a tiny bit, that's too much, just a little bit, and just go over and dab any areas that I need to go back over, it's mostly my chin. So my mom's picking me up and we're going to go to lunch and go see Crazy Stupid Love. I'm super excited because I love Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling, so... Mostly Ryan Gosling, though. Ryan Gosling is really making a comeback. I remember in 7th grade around The Notebook, he was like, everyone was obsessed with him. Then he kind of disappeared for a while and started making um, movies that no one saw as much, kind of like, um, Lars and the Real Girl and Valentine, but now he's kind of back in the mainstream again. It's weird. Okay, I'll stop talking. Alright, so that's it for my foundation. I just buff it into my skin really well and make sure that I have no lines. Um, and then after that, if, uh, I switch my concealers around all the time, but the concealer I've been using is the Smashbox, I'm not camera ready concealer it's a stick concealer um to be honest I'm not a huge fan it just was kind of expensive for me so I'm kind of trying to use it up and not waste it oh my god I need to hurry um so yeah I've just been using this and I just use it straight from the tube which I know you're not supposed to do but I'm usually in a rush for class and stuff so I'm just gonna use this um straight out of the tube and I just go over any areas that I have breakouts and I just lightly dab it into my skin with my ring finger. So on my nose I get red. A little spot down there from the previous breakout. A little one here. I'm not having a good skin day. <laughs> I picked a bad day to do this. I have a lot to cover. I'm gonna be late. Okay, so that's it for the concealer. And oh, I forgot to put some under my eyes. I'll go ahead and do that. I usually do this after I apply eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now just for the sake of this. I just put. You can't even see this. God. Just put a tiny amount and dab it into my skin with my ring finger. I guess I could add music, but YouTube doesn't like that. When I do that, it takes my videos down. I'm going to use my e.l.f. high definition powder, and this is just an e.l.f. Um, complexion brush. It comes in a set, and I'm going to use this to set my foundation, and this stuff is really messy. I like to do it. I kind of like go like this gently to kind of pop some into the top. And then I just take my brush and I just swirl it and tap it. And then I just kind of dab it onto my skin so I don't move the foundation around and mess up my concealing. And this is a pretty good dupe for the um, Makeup Forever High Definition Powder. I've used both. And I mean, I think it's a pretty good dupe. 
I mean, I would rather not spend the money on Makeup Forever if I could just buy this. That's my opinion. I mean, if you have the money splurge for it, it's a good product, but... If I can find a good dupe or something, I'm not going to buy the real thing. Because I'm a poor college kid. Okay. Alright, now after I've set my um, foundation, I'm going to take... This is my e.l.f. This is just an e.l.f. pimping video, isn't it? This is my e.l.f. eye brightener, and it's just, um, it's like a powder, a flesh color powder. You can't see this crap there is. It's like a flesh color powder. Um, I'm going to take this fluffy brush by Coastal Scents. This is just a blending brush. Just kind of work this under my eye to set that concealer that I put earlier. It just makes your eyes brighter. It has a little bit of shimmer. So after everything is set, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to bronzer. Um, I normally use the NARS Laguna bronzer, and as you can see, I'm a big fan. And I use the Eco Tools. It's just a powder brush, and I swirl it in there a little bit. Not a lot. And then I just lightly kind of dust this onto my cheeks. I don't really contour most of the time, especially if I'm just going out during the day. I don't like to look too overdone. So I like to use a big fluffy brush for this usually. I don't like to contour or anything like I said. A little my nose. I just am going for that sun kiss look. And I use different blushes every day, but today I'm using the Rimmel London. And this is in Mauve Cool and it has kind of a nice shimmer. Um, as you can see, I like it. I use it a lot. And this is just another Eco Tools brush. This is a smaller one. And I just pat that in there. And I apply this just to the apples of my cheeks and kind of work it up. And I like to apply kind of to the tops of my cheeks. So I don't like to put it low just because I don't I don't feel like it looks good on me. Um, and then this is the last thing. I sometimes use the e.l.f. This is their blush in Gotta Glow. Um, but I don't use it as blush. I use it as a highlight. And this is a pretty good dupe for the um, NARS Albatross, I hear. I don't own it. Um, but I use... Oh, This is an e.l.f. blush brush, but I think it's way too small. So I like to use it as... A highlight and I just dust this on the top of my cheeks and kind of work it into a C above my eyebrow gives a nice glow I'm gonna put a little bit down the center of my nose that's it oh my gosh this video is only 20 minutes long guys woo Okay, so, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'm going to try and start making videos, but only if people subscribe, because if people don't subscribe, then I just feel like an a-hole. Send me a request. I mean, I have a couple of ideas of what I want to do, but I'm looking at myself. I'm sorry, I should be looking at the camera. I've never done this before, and I'm stupid. Um, send me a request of what kind of videos you guys would want. But I'm going to go see Crazy Stupid Love now, and I need to hurry. So I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys later. Bye!